Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Braden, and in today's video we'll be focusing on the Draco Diff Case 2023 install in the HBI Vorza series of vehicles. So this video is the third in a series of videos focusing on this product. Um, if you haven't seen them already, check out uh, parts one and two. Uh, part one is about the Savage, and part two is the Super 5SC Flux. Okay, let's begin. So, the tools you will need are 1.5, 2, and 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. You will need a brush. You will need grease of your choice. Assembled uh, diff with Vorza diff gears and outdrives, etc. Blue Loctite for assembling the diff. And shims. So, this these shims are... Uh, in a diameter of 8 millimeters, these are 13. You will only need to use one style, but I will show you how to use both in today's video. Uh, basically, these ones go behind the bearing, so you will need to disassemble the diff to, uh, to add these on, which means not filling your diff with oil. And then these ones will just slide over the outdrive and much faster, so you can fill your diff with oil and pre-assemble before shimming. So I recommend these ones if you can't get them. Um, I always use Kyosho shims, they're easier to get. Here's the part number, the 8mm ones. Okay, these ones come in a set, so you have 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0.3mm thicknesses. These ones are just 0.15 thickness only. Alright, so that's the tools you will need. Let's get into assembly. Alright, let's begin the installation of the front and rear diffs. So you're looking at the front of the truggy, and step one, uh, using your ball and 2mm hex wrench if you have one, remove the two screws from the back here that holds this brace to the shock tower, and then remove the two M4 screws below. Uh, using the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Then you can pull the bumper off. Now you have access to these four screws right here. Okay, now in the rear, uh, you don't have a bumper, so it's just these four screws. So one, two, three, four. And then, of course, front and rear, remove the sway bars by undoing this little set screw here with a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. Okay, so next step, we are going to remove these four screws. So let me do that and then show you the next step. Okay, so now I've removed the screws and I've removed the sway bars from the ball ends. We can take off the A block um, first and the screws. Of course, in the rear, you would remove the D block in the same process, okay? Right, and then pull. Okay, right. So, to make this easier, I would recommend removing the arms and just hang them underneath. You could even remove them completely if you wanted, it would make it easier. And then, this one's always difficult. There we go. And then let them hang. Put, yeah, pull those out. Okay. Now you can pull the diff. All right. So this is a good time to clean the surfaces. Make sure everything's clean when you put them back together. Mine's okay though. All right. So now you have the Draco diff assembled. I really recommend installing these large shims inside your diff. So uh, they go behind the 22 spider gear inside the diff um, on each side. So both sides are needed, okay? Um, I can leave you a part number uh, in the description or a link in the description. Okay, right. So with the Draco diff case, you need a lot of shims. Um, um, yes, it's a lot, but uh, I feel like it's... It enables you to fine-tune your shimming, so um, 
and I recommend using the 13 by 16 millimeter by 0.15 millimeter shims uh, because they just go over the hard drive and you do not need to disassemble the diff each time to add a shim um, plus if you use the 8 millimeter shims they go behind here between the cap and the bearing or gear and the bearing they actually push the bearing against the out drive cause making they make contact so uh, I recommend using these ones it keeps the bearing away and it's easy right so what I've done is um, I've added a 0.3 millimeter shim here behind between the cap and the bearing just to to make it faster the shim um, and I've added I'm going to add 0.8 millimeters of shims on here so quite a lot and this is a good starting point because you you want to set the the diff this way as maximum as possible or as, as far as possible and then um, this is a good way to set the mesh check the mesh and then when you're done you can add the ones on this side to um, sort of uh, mount it um, properly so it doesn't move all right so let's do that I've got I'm gonna start with 0.6 millimeters so four shims put those over remember there's already a 0.3 on there put this in here all right push it push it this way as much as possible there is no there's no backlash whatsoever so I'll add another one so that means 0.75 so that's one millimeter basically wow there we go we have we have some backlash but still it can move left and right because we haven't added shims on this side yet okay I might add another one to check there we go okay put that on here we go okay and hold the pinion and there we go that looks good and I'm going to add just one on this side on the gear side okay make sure you don't pinch any of them there we go still needs another one here we go okay still good and it doesn't move side to side okay so now you could add grease to your teeth um, and we are ready to install the front half again so when doing this just be very careful not to pinch the shims um, so add this on and just keep an eye on here yeah and then push there we go quick okay just double check just look here to make sure it's not pinched and push them together okay now you can bring the arms back up and where are we it's a little fiddly make sure the there we go the drive shafts line up install the pin Okay, 
Same on this side. Put the pin in, the hinge pin. Okay. So that's in. And then of course the sway bars reconnected. There we go. Okay. Right. Make sure everything's flush, and then you can put these back in. Okay. So I have added the shims. Now the diff is shimmed, you've greased up the diff, and then you would tighten these down, replace the bumper, same on the rear, you would um, refit this half and then screw down these four screws and then add these two on the bottom again. So there are six screws in total, eight in the front because you have to remove the bumper. Right, so that's how you shim the front and rear diff of the HPI Vorza. Now let's move on to the center diff. Okay guys, so let's move into the center diff assembly. So um, first you will need to remove the stock diff and then assemble your center diff with the Draco diff case. Um, so my, mine's already assembled, but um, let me show you how to remove. So please remove the four screws from the top here. Okay, and then you can remove this plate. Then uh, from the bottom underneath, please remove the M4 screws and then these two uh, these two plates will be free. You can pull the whole center diff out, uh, replace it with the Draco diff case, put it back in up to this stage, okay? And then let's remove this as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we've removed the motor and we have the Draco diff case 2023 installed. Okay, and now we need to shim. So I'm going to use this digital depth gauge. Make sure it's zeroed. And we're going to put the diff as far right as you can. Put this on the out drive and then make sure you can find a surface on the um, center diff mounts right about there. Okay, and then 13.4-ish. Push 13.4. So it's about one millimeter that I'm going to need. So essentially you need five millimeters and five millimeters. So I'm going to try to put 0.45 and 0.45 on each side. All right, let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have to remove these from the chassis to do that, okay? Which means four screws from the bottom. Okay, so I've removed the screws from the bottom and I've removed the front and rear center dog bones and now you can remove the diff. So because these out drives are a little large you will need to actually remove the gear, pull out the out drive, add the shims and remove the cap, add the shims. Okay, so about we're looking at about a millimeters of shims so I'm going to put uh, 3.15 shims on each side and then I'm going to also put a point let's see a point one millimeter on the rear side totaling one one millimeters okay and then we're going to check so let me go ahead and do that okay so I have added the shims to the diff I have uh, 0.15 shims on the front times 3. I have 0.15 shims times 3 on the rear. And I've also added a 8mm um, shim on this side only to make up for that extra 0.1mm of um, play. And it is very, very tight, but still spins freely. So, um, 
I would say that is good enough. If there is any binding, um, I would uh, remove maybe one of the shims just to allow a little play. But in my case, it's still spinning quite freely. All right, so you would go ahead and add in your dog bones, reassemble everything, add your motor, and you're ready to go, providing you have some oil. So I would run probably around 50,000 weight in the center. Yeah, okay. So uh, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please check out the previous videos. Um, the links will be in the description. Um, I show you how to assemble the Draco Diff case, and I show you how to install it in the Savage and Super 5SC Flux. So, please check out those videos. Um, we have 27 Diff cases remaining as of this video, so please go to my store and order before they run out. Alright, uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video where I install it in the HPI Hellfire.